I use Raven MTI for uh, writing dialogues in uh, Norwegian when doing dubbing for TV. I define a button for each character. I mark the original character's dialogue and press the button for that character. This creates a group clip where I can write the translated dialogue. Then I mark another dialogue and I press the button I have defined for that character. And one more for the character Tim. Here is what the character buttons do. For the first dialogue track, Batch Commander moves the cursor down one time, then it creates a group clip, and last it selects the clip and do the Prutals command for renaming a clip. The next character is placed two tracks below the original track, so the cursor has to be moved twice down. I've also made a button for a track note, where I can write information to remember when I finally is doing the mix. To help me produce all the needed PDF documents for the Dublin project, I use EDQ from Sounds in Sync. For this purpose, I export session info as text to be used by EDQ. I then drop this file into EDQ and print all the documents to separate PDF files. It also creates MIDI files that can be imported to EDPROMPT. And I also import the MIDI files to Pro Tools so the dialogues is shown on the monitor for the actor when recording. I am Hansa Svedov from Svedov Studio in Norway.